Should you buy the iPhone 13? Is it good enough? Is it a good upgrade? What should you do? Well, as a power user, I've been using these phones and pushing them to their limit and they're under my hand all the time I have access to them. This is what I do. So I thought I can give you my own perspective, less sensationalized point of view as a person who actually likes to use these phones. And I think this goes for the most of the purchases you're gonna make. If you look at iPhone 13, any of them, and if you think they didn't add anything new, then yeah, you shouldn't upgrade because then there's nothing in this phone that attracts your attention. Then this is not for you. It's all right, you can pass it and then you can get iPhone 14 or whatever they're gonna release next year if you like it. But if you look at this phone, and if you see some features that are really exciting, which to me, it is really exciting, especially the new battery life. Um, I don't care about promotion a lot, uh, but I'm excited about the brighter screen and I'm excited about the new camera features, especially on the Pro line. So this is a really good upgrade for me because I cannot wait to see what the tele lens does, what I can do with the tele lens, what kind of photos I can get, and what kind of macro photos I can get with, uh, with the ultra wide angle lens. But here's the thing, I've been using iPhone 12 mini for a really long time, and I use this phone a lot. And this is until 13 entered the chat, this has been the best iPhone overall, the best iPhone out there. The single hand usage, unbeatable. Super light, unbeatable. Um, very nice screen, face ID works, just like all the other iPhones, they didn't, you know, uh, water it down on this one. Performance is amazing, it does everything. And for my lifestyle, the battery life is not a problem at all. I work at home, when I drive, I just plug it into the charge and it just, because it's a small battery, it charges super fast. So no problem at all with the battery life. And now we have stuff like these as well. So if you're gonna go out and be outside all day long, you can bring one of these. You can watch my review about this because this is an interesting external battery. Anyway, iPhone 12 mini was the best iPhone until these entered the chat. So now that I'm looking at these, and if I was to pick one, which I'm gonna get them all for what we do on this channel, what I would go with, because 13 mini is a little far behind compared to the Pro line. It wasn't the case with iPhone 12. Now, iPhone 12 and 13, I think that's a phone, if you don't wanna to spend too much money, and get an iPhone anyway. I cannot recommend iPhone 12 or 13 to anyone for any reason, because if you're gonna go and spend that much, I say you should go with the Pro, because when it's time to trade it in or when it's time to sell it, you're gonna get probably more. And um, yeah, there's, it's just the least tasteful phone to me is the iPhone 12 or 13 because mini has its own advantages. 13, ah, why don't you go with 13 Pro? Like put $200 more into it. Go with 13 Pro and get those amazing cameras and other features. And looking at these, the, the phones are thicker. The 13 line is thicker and heavier. So iPhone 13 Pro Max, is 240 grams, all right? That is without a case. Let me turn this on. 240 grams, let's switch to grams. If we just add a case on it, the case is 30 grams, so 270 grams, right? If you're gonna add a wallet to it with some cards in it, that's 80 pounds, 
<laughs> that's 80 grams. So 320 grams. Meanwhile, iPhone 12 mini with the case and uh, with the wallet on it is 185 grams. That's gonna be, that's gonna be a heavy device. That's gonna be pretty heavy. So I feel like iPhone Pro Max, even though the screen estate and everything is gonna be great, I think after getting used to mini, that's gonna be out of the picture for me. Also because 13 Pro gives you the uh, same features. So it looks like in the 13 line, I would go with iPhone 13 Pro, but not 128 gigabyte version, because if you've seen my previous video, I found that in the specs, that if you get the 128 gigabyte version, when the ProRes arrives, um, that's gonna be only at 1080p and not in 4K. So I don't want 1080p ProRes, I want 4K ProRes. I also wanna take advantage of the five core GPU, which we don't have on 13 mini or 13. So to me, it looks like iPhone 13 Pro in this line of iPhones wins easily, easily. It's almost 40 grams lighter than Pro Max. You probably cannot use this with one hand. It will not have the one hand uh, usage. And it will probably pull down <laughs> uh, the sweatpants if you go out to get coffee in the morning. But yeah, that's what I think. And I wanted to give you my opinion about these devices. And I, and I wonder what you think. Which one are you gonna go with? Are you getting one? Or do you think it's the same phone with a different name? I wanna know because to me, I can't wait to see how fast the CPU is. When the CPU is faster, you can do a lot more stuff with the phone. It's gonna affect my editing. It's gonna affect the way I shoot videos, the way I edit the videos on the go. Everything's gonna be better. So this is a, this is a good upgrade for me. But this is what I do. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below. And until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourself. Yes, this video is 8K, by the way. Uh, and Hoshchekalun. Hoshchekalun. Nice chat. See you later.